Ready to giddy giddy girl. <laughs> Got a tea steaming? Cheers, walk here to turn one. Oh, yes. Cheers. Right. Hi. Let's giddy giddy girl, girl. Ready. Welcome back to Knee Footler. I'm steaming. I'm boots. And I, what, what's on today's oh, I. menu? Mm. <laughs> I know a lot, like usual, eh? <laughs> uh, it became apparent last week that I had two uh, two different sporting uh, teams on. Last night I had a Lakers cap on, and I had a Bulls thing, but uh, I was just going to say, I don't know how to put basketball. I mean, I actually think basketball is shite. I think there's been one good game, and that was Space Jam on it. I saw <laughs> Space Jam too, that was our reading now, but sorry if I offended anyone, like, I didn't mean to... Uh, Pull any offence, like, <laughs> you know? But boxing, there's a sport we can talk about. Aye. And what we've just been watching, steaming. I have just watched the Fury in a billion white fight there. Mm. Um, fantastic, wasn't it? We had a gun out. Aye, I see his... Um, oh, Would you like a Ferrer Rush? Yeah. Aye, go on then. Get one of them up, yeah. Ma. Ma. Is it Christos or something, like? Um, I, I, my prediction was that I thought um, it was going to be a late stoppage for um, Fury. I thought he was going to stop White and maybe he's a 10 or something. Eat your biscuit! But um, as like the fight progressed, I started thinking, yeah, he's going to stop him earlier than, than this. He did make uh, White look like a, a big bomb dosser, didn't he? Like White didn't do, didn't do anything that had Fury in danger at any point. It was just... Devin Crinkle at the other right the food. <laughs> I fucking couldn't tell you. Given because the microphone picks up all kinds. It got um, it got it got a bit scrappy, didn't it? I was. was that's I the point been... breaking that now. Was it the third round where the referee couldn't even break them? Referee lost all control. Aye, aye. I have a word of both of them. And they looked like a bum then. At the start of the next round, he had a proper talk them as well. Aye. Just weren't listening. Them. Like it started with uh, White was like hitting them after the break. Aye. If you say what the fuck are you doing? I was squealing, mugging them, and how was the thing was he? You just can't, you're saying mug. Aye. Look at you, you mug. Bye, it wasn't a, um, it wasn't a bo- boxing masterclass for any stretch of the imagination. Like, it was a bit of a scrap, wasn't it? That up a cut was, yeah. Right up a cut at the end of the sixth round. There was literally seconds to go, you know, I think Aye. it was three seconds to go <laughs> in that last round. Aye. And he took his heat off with that up a cut. Aye, but did I, I honestly, I thought White looked terrible, you know. I felt a bit bad. I don't know if the nerves of the occasion got him a bit, but I was expecting more of a fight with him than that, like. Aye. It was just an easy day at the office for Fury, as I said it will be. Oh, does he? But um, he at the office, does he? But I, um, at least I left it all in the ring, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Went home safe for the families, so which is the main thing. Aye. But yeah, respect to Dillian White. Like, it was a massive occasion, 94,000. Apparently it was the, the biggest sporting single-day event in European history in you terms of the capacity and the biggest single-day event uh, in Wembley's ever. Aye, way aye. It was like 90 odd thousand, man. 94. That's man. meant that, you know. Um, do you know what? They were saying there's only been two bigger ones. There was one in Mexico and one in America, but that was years ago. Oh, so yeah. like, what, what was that? I don't know. Was that like, a good podcaster would have probably looked that up, but. <laughs> the Rebel in the Jungle. We're just starting out, you know what I mean? I know, we're still trying to find our feet. <laughs> <laughs> aye, I know. Trying to find our voice. Hey, you best get to tell you, mine are eating. Are you eating your side? No. <laughs> can't eat and talk. Um, but I Fury's been saying that that was his last hurrah. I oh, oh not this no. shite again. Oh, it's back. It's back. Um, I and I kind of hope it is. You know, although it will be sad to not have Fury in the heavyweight division because he's obviously he's been the one to watch any for the last fucking 10, 15 years or something. Aye. Um, it'll be weird not having him there. But um, like just thinking. Of him as a boxer, and that I think it's the it's the good time. Like go oh, out yeah. on that massive knockout at Wembley in front in front of your home crowd, ninety four thousand, like undefeated champ. Like he's I really hope he does finish in that. I really have to prove. You know what I mean? Like he might keep going like what Ali did and that, and start getting beat off bums and that. That's, I know that's the thing, isn't it? I didn't want that to happen at all. You see, Ricky Hatton's on him making a comeback. This who do you think Barrera did it say? Was it an I, exhibition or something? It's an exhibition, eight rounds. Yeah. But still, but yeah, Ricky hadn't made a comeback, remember? And he got aye, pumped. Aye. <laughs> aye, no, I didn't like to see it, mate. I remember watching I think that. he needs the money, I, though. I remember watching it in City Vaults. Wait, do you know what it is? There's probably a lot of money on the table for it. Aye. And, like, fair play for, like, wanting it in some coin. So it's just, it's the way the world is now, all these exhibitions and that, when Tyson's mm-hmm. been fighting fucking Roy Jones and all that. You reckon uh, Tyson made a comeback on the on that uh, aeroplane the other day? Oh, I did, I. Chinned that kid, didn't he? Aye. 
He uh, was a bum mad. dosser, mate. You see the video? Oh my god, I. Pugging faces and all that behind his back, he got chinned. I know, I was puzzling with that, like, the kid would a freak. I know. He just slipped his lid, didn't he? Aye. Do you reckon uh, there was people saying it was a setup? It couldn't have been, could yeah, it? Yeah, man. Why would it be a setup? Why would things like this be a setup, you know? Now, oh, Tyson, I, I just filmed us chinning in some kids on an aeroplane because that'll make us look mint. <laughs> you know? You know what I mean? Aye. I Will just... Smith, oh, I just filmed us uh, slapping some bear uh, comedian on the, in, in the BAFTAs, you know what I mean? What a divvy that kid is, though, taking the piss out of Mike Tyson on a plane. What Fuck did he me. expect, like? Uh-huh. What was he thinking was going to happen? I hope he gave him proper hiding when they got off the plane. Uh, he couldn't get his shots off properly. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't properly tee off. I know. <laughs> there was some bloke trying to like, stop him. I was like, freaking, I wouldn't dare be getting in the way of Mike Tyson. Tyson thought he had him on the ropes, didn't he? If it was me, <laughs> it was me and you in the plane and Tyson was going fear, I'd be like, go for it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you get yourself away. Uh, I think I'll get my video out ready. <laughs> we get a selfie, huh? Come on. Aye. Aye, Aye going yeah. back to air. Uh, I've got a bit off topic there. Uh. Aye, what time? Um, I'm sure I had something else to say on the Fury White thing. Um, Didn't let like the programme do. I think it's. I do think it's a good time for him to retire. And like, I was interviewed the other day, and they were saying, well, "What about the? Everyone's wanted this AJ fight for the best part of ten years, and that." And he says. And this is what about Usyk as well. He says, look, I could fight AJ and I could fight Usyk, but then there's going to be somebody else, isn't there? And there's always, there's always going to be someone else to fight. What are you laughing at? Oh, no. There's always going to be someone else to fight. So let's say he did fight them, then they'd be like, oh, that's his new challenger or this, that, and the other. Yeah. And um, so he's got to call it somewhere. Plus, he says AJ's had his chance to be 10 fucking times. And um, he's blew it, so it's not, and it wouldn't even be as big a fight now anyway. Because when he was undefeated, and it was going to be the Aye. unification thing, that would have been lethal. But since then, he's been beat twice, and, and as Fury put it, he got burst off a pumped up middleweight. So it's not the big fight anymore. Now that fight there, we just watched. It was a massive size difference, wasn't it, with Dillian White and mm. um, Fury, right? Um. Usyk's even smaller than Dillian White by a long by a long way. Yeah. Like he wouldn't even be he wouldn't be able to get in there. Like I don't think. Anyway, who do I? Know? I don't think there's anyone in there who would give Fury any trouble. To be honest, like just because of how big and awkward he is, he's just uh, hard to beat. But um, it would have to be someone, uh, like a big like a big size like Anthony Joshua size, but who could also box. He's gonna retire now, Reed, and then in five years he's gonna be doing exhibitions uh, fighting right. Jake Paul. <laughs> oh God. But I, I tell you what, there's going to be a Hollywood movie about him, though, man. Oh, what a, what a perfect right. story that is. I can't wait to see the film. Very good. Mo. Be good if he played himself and all, wouldn't it? Mm. <laughs> Who could play him? Nicholas, Will Smith. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine Nicholas Cage as being himself, but he's meant to be Mike uh, Aye. Fury. Aye. You're a big bomb dosser. <laughs> <laughs> is Nicholas Cage Irish, Lee? No, he's American. That's right, aye. <laughs> um... But I, Ricky Hatton, like, fair play to someone wanting to just get in there and earn millions of quids and, like, you know what I mean? Like, respect for doing that, but it is mental in it. But Marco Antonio Brera was named mug back in the day. He was aye, the aye. only person to be Prince Nazim. He aye. ended Prince Nazim's career. Aye. Prince Nazim come doing on a UFO, didn't he? And got chin. Did he? Aye. Aye, I think that's aye. But, um, aye, he's a good fighter, Brera. He got, he got a bit of Pacquiao a couple of times, didn't he? Maybe he needs the money or something. Aye. I mean, I'll probably be watching it, to be fair, but... But remember Hatton, like, when he lost, after he lost to Pacquiao, he had a couple of years off or whatever, and he came back and he fought some, like, unknown fighter and got punched all hour. Tim, who was it? I remember watching that fight in City Vaults. So that must have been fucking years ago. 15, 10 years ago or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're talking yours again. Um, Eat your biscuit. Shut up, Kent. So, um, but some people are saying that Fury might have just been saying that it was his last fight to sell the tickets. I don't know. And all that build thingy, but nah, I, I think. Unless it's like some pure, unbelievable offer in a fight that really makes sense, then I, I think it should be the last one. Like, I hope I'm on the screen this time. Last week I was hanging off, wasn't I? Um, oh, that just burnt my stomach, that. Christ. In, in our boxing news, did you see that, um, that MTK's gone under? I, I did say that, actually. Here's the logo away again. So what happened there then? Um, yeah, I've got a note, yeah. So MTK is going under at the end of the month. So MTK had been founded in 2012 by the notorious Daniel Kinanen, Kinahan, who has been under investigation for years amid allegations that he leads a drugs cartel. Is he the Irish lad? Aye. 
Maybe we shouldn't talk too much about this one. <laughs> we'll get fucking topped. Uh, last week, the US Treasury imposed uh, stringent sanctions on Kinahan and offered a five million reward for information that would result in his arrest and conviction on a long list of serious criminal charges. The US government also warned that anyone in boxing who retained ties with Kinahan would be implicated. Fury and hundreds of boxers in Britain are known to have had close working relationships with Kinahan in recent years. Many of these fighters have traded under the MTK banner. Aye. So aye. It was a pretty big thing that, wasn't it, MTK? It was, aye. It was massive. All the fights were under MTK at one point. You got any thoughts for the programme? No, no. But, um, have I? But I've seen they were trying to ask Fury about it during the press run this week. <laughs> what the fuck's the matter with you? Was that you? Are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> Was that you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grow up, man, will you? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Yeah, man, grow up, man. Yeah, man. yeah this is a serious uh, setup, this man. <laughs> we're, trying to get, uh, we're trying to get subscription. <laughs> they haven't been coming on the programme for it later. Shut up, man, will you? Um. What was I saying? We should have lit that. It would have been lit. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have the door open, man. We'll have to cut it's this piece. We'll have to cut this piece. Um, Two we minutes, should... mate. We're just going to oh, uh, cut to a commercial there. Uh, we're just going to cu- cut to the commercials, guys. <laughs> hey, this is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is trash. <laughs> Lifting. But I, we were trying to ask Fury about it all week, and he just literally was like, no comment. He says, his business is his business, my business is my business. Wait, I. So obviously, like, obviously almost not, but I don't know. Didn't want to say it out. If just, Jake just Paul... Fair enough, you know what I mean? I wouldn't dare, either. No, nah, no, yeah. Different shot. Aye. Um, did you watch the tune match? No, nah. Fill us in, what happened? I'll fill you in, all right. <laughs> Free out. Fucking try. We won, Free out. I tell you what, like it's like watching young Brazilian side in at the minute. That's three wins this week since last weekend. Leicester. Um, what was the one through the week where we won at the Crystal la- Palace? Crystal Palace, and then who was it today? Norwich. Norwich. Aye. Mo. Aye, rocking it. Yeah, man. Um, there's been through the week. Um, you know, we'll start the minute. Bruno. He's a. Uh, he's obviously Brazilian, come from Leon, and he's been saying he wants to get his best mate across. Who also played for Leon, who was also a Brazilian. If we were to get him, you know, we're, we're midfield, three Brazilians in the midfield. We're, we're going to be unreal, you know. Like, the way Eddie Howe's got, we're playing, man. Like, I was reading an interview with John Joe Shelby through the week and all that, and uh, <coughs> he was just saying he wants to try and prove his side. He said Steve Bruce was shit. More, more or less, the, the, the vibe I was getting when he was saying he was, Steve Bruce was shit. Eddie Howe's just. Uh, a dream to work with. He obviously is doing Aye. a really good job. Because you know what it is, you know, and the transfer work. Right, and now we've brought in some players, right, obviously. We didn't take the piss, though. We only brought in, what was it, like, three players, maybe. But two players, like Trippier and Bruno, who are players we would never normally have gotten, obviously, because we had that new reach and all that. Oh, what's going on, yeah? Aye, right, so Bruno and Trippier were... were Players that we could have normally getting. Trippier has been injured for ages now, so it's Bruno. I may be talking complete shit. Is there anyone else? But uh, the team isn't just built on one player. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like uh, he obviously is getting the best out of the players that were already had as well. Yeah. Like look at um, what the Carly Joe Linton man. He's like, yeah, he's unreal. Like. We're, we're players are meant at the minute. Oh, like we're, we're like really in, well. inspired, aren't they? Aye, well, look, no club in the history of the Premier League has ever like had the start that we had and then stayed up. Yeah. And we're not just staying up. I think we're ninth now, you know, mm-hmm. or oh, eighth. That's class. Aye, risen from the ashes. I was saying a few a like few weeks Phoenix. ago on oh, Newcastle for Europe on the Instagram and all that, and loads of people are saying no, way, and I don't think it is possible to do it. Should we suck the magpie for a phoenix? What's that like? It's a bird that rises from the ashes. In a ball of flames. I did I the Newcastle Phoenixes. Aye. Some shite. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, it's it's really good to see like in next season's gonna be big and I'm gonna try and get get to a game when I'm back this year, like. Aye, borrow when you more going? kids season tickets. When you going? 
I don't want to see how many people in there. Honestly? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I'll tell you why you'll be unlucky. <laughs> then... <laughs> oh, I fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get mobbed by the paparazzi who uh-huh. step off the plane. Uh-huh. You, know? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, you know what else, though? While I was watching the match the other day, obviously I was here, and I'm probably going to ruffle a few feathers, yeah. Oh. Get that little girl back on, really, while I'm talking. I'm representing the knee filter here. And this is knee filter, by the way. Yeah. By the way... I was I'm... enjoying the match, right? Come on. I was enjoying the match, right? But for fuck's sake, our here, they've got... I don't know if they're doing it at home, but they had two women commentating, you know. And I was trying to watch the match, right? And all I could hear was this... Uh, just screeching on, you know, and it was doing me head in. So I was going to ask the sexist, question. It's isn't it? I was going to ask the question. I am not going to give a fuck. It's a bloke's game. It's the bloke's, it's the bloke's playing. You know what I mean? So they should have a bloke commentating it. It's some shit. <laughs> I'm not bothered to put the, re- the linesman, the referee, but when uh, when they've got fucking the women commentating, it sounds shit. It's annoying. In my opinion. I don't really give a fuck if you're laughing or what. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, that's just what I think. I think it sounds shade. <sighs> you're going to get cancelled. <laughs> I couldn't give a fuck in that. It sounds shit. <laughs> um, aye. What, what, what other news we've got on this week? You got any of our notes? That was my we'll one and only note. Ban women commentators. <laughs> <laughs> um... He has a he has a um, topic for you. Did you see Elon Elon Musk wanted to buy Twitter. He had like forty two billion, and um, they said no. I got turned down, and then um, the share prices or something. I have heard a lot of stuff about this. I didn't actually understand anything about it. Like, uh, tell us all about it. So there's so he offered forty two billion or something, and they said no. So then the share prices plummeted, and um, so I've got some notes here about it. So you want to take over Twitter, but it's not allowed. However, Bill Gates has been buying up all the farmland available in America. Um, he's now the biggest farmland owner in the USA. Who is, is Bill Gates? Bill Gates. He wants farmers to stop farming cattle and that because of their contribution to the emissions via CO2 gases. So he wants the farmers... Oh, it's far- me. Get the night after I fall. Hi. So he wants the farmers to tend to the land and become large-scale gardeners. Meanwhile... Billy G has a company called Beyond Meat, which is literally a lab growing fake beef. Who's Billy G? Bill Gates. All right. Um, so, and Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter um, because he recently became aware of what it is, a left-wing propaganda site, supposedly. You know, if you put anything on that's against the left wing, it gets mm-hmm. taken down. Any decent, any dissent in voices, opinions, or narratives are squashed and banned. No people get banned off Twitter if they say something that goes against the COVID guidelines or whatever. So he wants, so he wants, he wants more free speech. So he wanted to buy it. He bought a nine billion worth of shares, which gave him a fourteen percent stake in the company. But he did a poll on his Twitter, and everyone said he should buy it. So he offered forty three billion, which is the equivalent of fifty four. <laughs> it's the what? Equivalent <laughs> to fifty four billion US per share. Sorry, fifty four dollars per share, um, which is almost double what they're current um, worth. They're currently worth. And to I said no, so he's fucked them. The shareholders are going wild um, because the sh- he basically offered double what it's worth. And um, to I said no. Um, Why? Because because Twitter doesn't want a far right racist buying the company. And they've shot themselves in the foot. So he's going to force them to sell somehow, they reckon. Elon Musk is a racist, is he? Well, what he said, that's racist, like? That's just what they say he is, I don't know. Um, he's maybe a bit tight cut. Yeah, that. so basically, Twitter's like, supposedly, you know, take this with a pinch of salt and all that, controlled by the left wing. And anything that goes against what they say, it gets taken down. And he wanted it to be a more free speech kind of thing, where you can say what you want. They wanted to buy it, but um, aye. the powers that that be have uh, knocked it back. So what's that got there with Bill Gates wanting farm uh, vegans? Like, because he's on the other side and he's allowed to do what he wants. But because, so what's he done? That's his way. Bill Gates aye. he's buying all the farmland in America. What? Why? He's stopping them? But why? He's stopping them? Stopping them making beef because of the O two emissions, CO two emissions for the 
Ozone. And what's the uh, underlying issue with that guy? Um, but he's meanwhile making his own beef anyway. He's just put them out of the business. He's just he's making his own beef. Uh, he's got his own farms where he's got cows and that. Bill Gates has just controlling a power player. It. I don't know. It's fucking mental. If you reckon more, that Bill Gates a fucking paedophile? Mm-hmm. Wait, he was actually. <laughs> He was actually yes. uh, he was on the Epstein log like loads Fucking of times. Fucking New Year's. Epstein Island. He was in the log like hundreds of times. Was and his I wife left him already. Logged in his wife, Epstein Island, his, his did wife he? left him and all that because of it. Honestly, aye. Aye, I reckon he's a bit dodgy. Saw him. Nice. Mm-hmm. Are you listening, Bill? Let's <laughs> get him on the list, actually. Get him on. Right, we've blew the lid off uh, Hunter Biden. We've blew the lid off Bill Gates now. What conspiracy should we come on? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a one for it, the Titanic. Oh, aye. There was a conspiracy aye. about the Titanic. Aye, go on, aye. Could they a full fucking episode about that, cunt? Let's touch on it. Let's scratch the surface. Oh, aye, I don't know how to put it, to be honest. Hey. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Aye, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> uh, wait, I, I do know a little bit about it, but uh, I would want to do a bit of research, you know, before I start the days blowing the lid off things. Should we do an episode on the conspiracy of the Titanic? The what? The conspiracy of the Titanic. The tight uh, that's it's called the Titanic, isn't it? Oh, it's the mountains called the Titanic, isn't it? Uh, I think it's the T- tight Titanic. Titanic. I watched oh. a great documentary, but it actually had uh, Leonardo DiCaprio playing the main role. <sighs> Aye. Yeah, now it's mad actually. When we because we watched a little bit of a documentary last Saturday night about the Titanic. When I went to bed, I was watching YouTube videos about it, and I got doing the rabbit hole, and I was this um, bloke. He was trialing this. Um, VR game, you know them VR PlayStation games, virtual reality, and um, there's a it's called Titanic VR, and literally you're on the Titanic as it's sinking, and the bloke had the thing on and oh, that, yeah. and you get in the lifeboat and you go down and you're like sailing away and that in your little boat, and you're like watching the Titanic go down and all that shit. It looked but obviously like realistic as fuck. The bloke was like nearly in tears and all that. Honestly, it was I... intense as fuck. That was, that, that was another one actually when I was on that. The next one he done was um a BBC VR game, and it's um. A simulation of the uh, International Space Station. So you start off, you're in the space station. It's an actual like, um, like for like reenactment of it and all that. And you're in the little pod thing, and you've you've gone around doing little tasks, and then you open the hatch, and you're just on the space station, looking down at the Earth, and you've got to climb out of it and move around. The blow had to take the thing off. He said it was too realistic. He was fucking feeling sick and that. Honestly. Aye, uh, you look mental. Just imagine just being there in space and that. But the thing is, though, you're not. It's not really now. You're in a game. I ain't know, but. I got the VR for first lockdown for um, PlayStation to pass a bit of time in there. Oh, the And uh, I was getting motion sickness and everything. You've been on that pole. That was this one game where you're in, you're in space and you're like a robot or something and you're jumping between planets and you're going all different directions and that and you, you can stand on the walls and the ceilings and that. And honestly, I was getting motion sickness. I felt ill off but it. But you're not actually doing anything. I know, but it feels fucking mad. Remember the one I put you on where yeah. you're um, got in the by cage shark, with, a, with a shark? I did get a fright, actually. I, I had to knock that off me. <laughs> I had a video because, of that. You know, you're not there. Don't take it away. Ah, wait, I. You know, you're not there, though. I don't know. Maybe there's just better ones. Better ones new. I was actually watching the thing with Elon Musk right there, where he was saying, uh, like, you look how the computer games were, like, when they first came out in the 80s and that, it was literally punk. It was like two little lines in a dot. Doot. What's it called, Dan? Pong. Pong. Pong, aye. And then how the... F- that's only like 30 years ago or something. And look at where the computer games are mm. now. They are. How good the graphics aye. are fucking real now when you see the PS5 and that. Like, imagine where it's going to be in about 10, 20 years. You know what you're it's just going to end up having? It's going to be something like a horror film. It's going to have, like, rooms of big fat divvies and all that just obviously <laughs> eating and keeping themselves fed. They'll probably be on a drip and they'll be... They'll have a little thing on, right? And they'll actually be in their own world. Aye, I know. That's what they're saying. Because be like, they're just a bunch of fucking idiots. That's what they're saying. Maybe we're all already living in a simulation of some sort. How? I don't know. Maybe this might be all a computer game. What do you mean? I've been controlled, eh? No one controls <laughs> me. I'll control Ooh. you in a minute. Aye, so that's that. You can just imagine it, can't you? Like a big sweaty sports Everyone hall. Is, and you're full of people on drips just playing on the fucking screen. <laughs> not, they're just not present at no, all. Like that episode of South Park with the bloke who plays on the fucking Warcraft. He's just the pure fat slob. 
Are you seeing it? It's like no. salad and that. Oh, ill. But I, people, I get board games. People mate. could be living like a second life in the computer. I get bored of the game, me. Like, yeah. there's me and you playing FIFA for a little while. That was that was yeah. great. I was yeah. I was there. Uh, I was tarning you. Uh, I used to be the games when I was younger. And that like in my early twenties, and that I had a PS3, and that I used to play on new and again. But for me, like I bought the PlayStation like two years ago in lockdown. But that was the first time I had one in years. And um, for me, I've just if there's a game out coming out that I really like, I'll I'll get bang into a game. But I'm not like someone who will just buy game after game after game. If there's a game I really fancy, I'll buy it and play it, and then that'll be play it's done. Uh, like, I like that um, Resident Evil Two remake and um, Last of Us games. I've hammered them during the first lockdown. But other than that, it just gathers dust now. If it's I was two playing, people due, playing during um, isolation when I had COVID, I was playing on fucking Tetris. Tetris. I mean, I tech this with a Game Boy. Aye. I've got that for the PlayStation 4. Just do, 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 do. Aye. Yeah, I was mad, you know. Like, I was, uh, it's mad thinking about what's just happened in the last two years, isn't it, man? Like, actually, we were just watching uh, one of the Kardashians, and it was when the COVID had first started. Because we watched the last season, and then we can watch the new one, you see, so we can get back into it. And it was when COVID was kicking in. I was, like, watching it. Like, I was, like, I felt weird about it. I was, like, oh, it's, like, two years of your life. That would have been, it's been mad, hasn't it? It's glad it's good that things are like getting back on. I loved it. Like I was out over the road the other day reading there, uh, walking through the entertainment quarter with the at Noah Park, and uh, loads of bars and that with music outside. And I was like walking through, and I was like, oh. I'm constantly looking at holidays and that. They've just been yeah. like it's just it's mint, isn't it? Yeah. I hope I really hope that's the end of it, and I hope it never happens again. Aye. I was um Horrible. filling me um paperwork for me visa application the other day, and then um, there's a section like um oh can you update where to all your overseas travel you've done oh, since, I, since May 2020. I was like, is that a fucking joke of a question or what? <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was like, are you being serious? You know, we're done now. Now you've got to let them know. If you could, you've been in and all that shit. Aye. You had to update that list. I was like, well, you've obviously not been fucking anywhere, have I? The <laughs> chance would have been a fine thing. Been a baby. I know. Yeah, by the way, I found out why you can only film for 30 minutes on these cameras, why? you know. Because, um, because it's advertised as a, a camera for taking pictures. Aye. And um, apparently it costs more tax and all that to have a one that's classed as a video camera. Okay, good. So that it's like a low one that can only do videos for 30 minutes. Is that right? Aye, otherwise it's... Was that you? You're fucking early. <laughs> anyway. Take it serious, will you? wrap this up. Oh, I so I was just going back to what I said about uh, banning women in sports. Uh, I only said that because Steve said that I should say it. <laughs> Steve was saying he, he doesn't think gay people should be allowed to play football. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Full of shit. Nah, aye. Um, should we wrap this one up then? I wrap it up, wrap the show up. Tell you what, let's get the ball out there. Oh, for the balls coming out, is it? For all time's sake. Let's have a look what we've got. Get your biscuit up, you. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, you're not eating. Right, would you rather train, Would you rather die in a plane crash or at sea? Like something like the Titanic? The Titanic? That's weird that we should have been talking about the Titanic, by the way. I'd have an army. What like, a coincidence, eh? Oh, I, what a coincidence, you think? Uh, I'd have an army, like, I'd, uh, I'd rather knew that. I'd, have been, like, I'd have been, like, thinking about stuff like that, mate. I think both of them would be horrendous, like, but the aeroplane would be a bit quicker, I think, like. You watch fucking Leonardo DiCaprio running about that uh, ship. I know. Shitting himself for what, three hours or something? It would be terrifying being on an aeroplane that was doomed, that was plummeting. Yeah, man, you know when you go on holiday and, and you hit a tiniest bit of air, oh. I, I nearly snapped the last hand off me. Like, I'm shit myself every single uh, it's The tiniest mad, bit of turbulent. You know what's mad? I was thinking about this the other day, right? Like, cars, right? And planes and that. Like, great inventions and means you can travel all hour. But when they invented these cars and planes back in God knows when, hundreds of years ago, they must have knew there's going to be loads of accidents and people are definitely going to die with these things, but that's just something we're going to have to accept. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Uh because -huh. people die in car crashes all the fucking time. I know. Hey, wait. Plane crashes, and it's just something that we just accept and know that that's the risk to have a bit of more of a convenient life. Oh, my eye. But I, I read, I don't know how... I feel safe as fuck on the bus, so... Do you? Aye, normally. Um, Do you not like? On the bus, I've, I don't know. The Piat tank? No, I felt unsafe, like. But, um, i tell you what, some of the drivers in, in Sydney are fucking mad, though. I'm sorry, they're not safe when I'm driving, there's fucking mad cunts cutting us up and that. But, um, oh, I was saying right back to the bro question, um, turn that dude, or not you dude. <laughs>
<laughs> um, I I read somewhere. I'm sure it was like a nuts magazine or something years ago, and I had stupid things in. Um, saying that apparently dying by drowning is supposed to be a euphoric feeling, but I don't know how anyone knows that because no one's came back to tell the I was wondering why you had to heed he, he, this idea. <laughs> but they reckon like when you're brain starved of the oxygen and that, it's meant to be a euphoric feeling or something, I don't know. Aye. But I don't know how they know that though. Aye, because who's come back to tell the tale, exactly, eh? Aye. But I, um, it would be terrifying either way, I don't know. But if, if drowning's euphoric, then drowning. You know what it is? When I'm driving a boot and all that. There's loads of times I hold my breath, you know, when I'm driving, oh, I'll, I'll get to that spot, I'll there while I'm holding my breath, and it could be, like, maybe it's ages away. Why? There's a certain spot I come at the tunnel, right, I try and hold my breath from when I get out of the tunnel, all the way back onto the main road, and it takes like, ages, you know, and if you hit traffic lights as well. What, you just die? And I'm just panicking me until I can, uh, Why? Get my breath back again. Why don't you let yourself breathe? I don't know, I just do a little test in it. <laughs> but, uh, I, I would, like, obviously, if you were going to drown, then... It would be that, but you now you're not getting anywhere. It'd be horrible. It would be that. It I've would. Had, I've had to make weird idea, you know. That just made us think. When I every time I go for a piss, I count backwards from twenty in my head. <laughs> and you know, if I get to like three yeah. and I'm still pissing for ages, I saw going three <laughs> two. OCD. And I saw counting slower, so I've got to finish when I'm down to one. What happens if he doesn't call you five? Or if I'm pissing and I'm gonna end, I'm like five, four, three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, I've hours done it, I don't know why. You're such a silly Stephen. Oh I. Right, well, on that note, I think we'll wrap this one up, eh? Aye, unpack the show. Aye, uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and all that shit. Tell them. Aye. And uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Signing out. <coughs> Pat them thoughts in now. Was that you?